Dominion Voting Systems filed a $1.3 billion defamation lawsuit against Rudy Giuliani, personal lawyer for twice impeached one-term failed President Donald J. Trump. The president's allies contended that the voting machine company, which was also used in states during Trump's victory in 2016, and was also used in the states Trump carried in 2020, was somehow involved in a rigged election, partly as a result of ties to a long-deceased Venezuelan dictator. The suit says Dominion was not founded in Venezuela to fix elections for Hugo Chavez. It was founded in 2002 in John Paulo's basement in Toronto to help blind people vote on paper ballots. Giuliani's statements didn't just damage the name of the company, they damaged confidence in democracy and the voting process. Dominion argues that Rudy Giuliani profited from his false claims, noting that he reportedly demanded 20 grand a day for his legal service to Mr. Trump, who is apparently not going to be paying Rudy. No shocker. And uh, he cashed in big time on his podcast where he exploited election falsehoods to market gold coins, supplements, cigars, and protection from cyber thieves. A lawyer representing Dominion said that the riots show how seriously Trump's followers had taken the falsehoods told about the election. Rudy Giuliani had a press conference at a landscaping company. Then he had another one where he looked like he got in a fight with his daily serving of prune juice. I, I cannot get enough. I just, I can't get enough of this. As a bald man, I'm always fascinated about what people will do for their hair. Like, remember when Trump went really blonde for a while? Oh, wow. That was ridiculous. And how about Garth Brooks at Biden's inauguration? All I could do was look at his hair. As a bald guy, this is what happens. We just look at other men's hair and see what they're doing wrong with it. But I, I love that like these A-list celebrities are publicly beta testing hair transplants and products for us. So we just let them publicly look insane. And then when it gets good enough, we can go for it. The suit against Giuliani says he acted with other prominent conservatives and news networks, including Mike Lindell, yeah, the MyPillow douche, Lou Dobbs, Fox News, Fox Business, Newsmax, and One America Network. And the company notes that Giuliani avoided mentioning Dominion in court where he could have faced legal ramifications for falsehoods. Never mentioned it in court. But with the inauguration gave us the greatest thing ever, and that is Bernie in his mittens sitting on his chair. Here's a few I made uh, that have been kind of popular. And uh, you got the uh, days confused there. Right on, right on, right on. I like this one. I couldn't believe no one just put him in a knitting store. There he is. I am the knitting boss. If you want anything knitted, come to me. If you want mittens, this is where you buy them. You remind me of the burn. What burn? Burn with the power. What power? Mittens. I think I only had a child so I could try and pull this off at Halloween. Don Jr. still trying to peddle all the lies, still trying to get everyone onto another platform. Okay, everybody, come come follow me on Parlor. Okay, Parlor's gone. Uh, you gotta sign up for Telegram now. Telegram is where it's at, it's free speech. It's laughable that you're still pushing this nonsense. I guess when you come from generations of privilege, stupidity, and entitlement, it's tough to come to grips with not getting everything. Mega tears. The only criticism of Biden so far was that he wears a Rolex. Oh, oh, a Rolex. Oh no, which turns out to be his dead son's watch. But still, conservatives, you know, getting mad about someone wearing a nice watch who is the president while they just spent years supporting. And the other thing that makes him still out of touch is that he has a Peloton. So, is he Sleepy Joe that has no energy or is he a guy that does 30 minute high interval training workouts on a Peloton? So make up your mind. That's the thing with the MAGA people. They insist anyone liberal is a Hollywood elite, but then they also say that we're poor and we live on a futon. So what are we? Because I know what you are, idiots. This channel sucks. MAGA tears. Is it a fraud election? Boycott does nothing because Democrat never buy his pillow anyway. Mega tears. Also want to note Bed Bath & Beyond stock was up over 30% today. Tommy Campbell is a hate-filled loser. Mega tears. 
Trump is better than each and every one of you. MAGA tears. I'm a laugh when Donald Trump becomes president again. You're done, Democrat. This will haunt you forever. MAGA tears. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can find out about all my latest videos. I'm also a stand-up comedian. I've got three albums on Spotify. You can check them out for free there. That's a pretty sweet deal. If you ever want a personal shout-out, I'm on Cameo, and I'm available for roasting your enemies or toasting your friends or whatever. It's personal. If you're out, please wear a mask. Be kind to each other. Have an awesome day.